working with Wayne is cool. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you just never know though. Like, you feel me? Like, I mean, one time we was coming from the club. I'm thinking we all good. So it's probably like six in the morning. I'm about to go to sleep. I'm about to lay down, you know, I didn't, I didn't took my shower and everything, you know, you know, I was real fresh, you feel me? I was ready to go to sleep, laid down, got that call, like, yeah, need you, need you to come do this verse. And I was like, I wasn't even thinking about no, like, you know, I wouldn't have went to the, I wouldn't have went to the club, like, if we had to go to the studio, you know? So that's the thing, though, like, you always got to be ready. But that's the thing I like about working with them, like, you know, they hard workers over here at Young Money, so. He basically said it, like, that's the main thing about working with Wayne, you just got to be able to stay up. And work. Don't fall asleep in the studio <laughs> and work either. Because like like uh, like Mill said, you, <laughs> you gotta you, work you, out. You will get the hot sauce. You will get the hot sauce. You feel me? <laughs> Straight up. But nah, dude, a genius. Like he, like he the best with this music thing. Like to me personally, like it's an honor working with him. And I mean, you just gotta stay up and be about it. Putting in your your you gotta grind, grind with him because he a grind. My man, Tiger, Tiger, the man, when the man say about the kicks and the colors, he mean that the man, he don't never think he right. <laughs> this man probably changed probably change again, four or five sure. times right before the show. And he might wind up wearing the first outfit that he had on <laughs> to begin with after everybody told him, man, you good, man. I'm telling you, you straight. Nah, man, nah, man, I think, I, I, my hat, my hat. It could be one thing. My, my hat's just not. My hat's just not. Nah, it's not gonna go with this. I, I'm gonna do something else. Yeah, he gone. He changed. But I look. I look at show, man. Like the first day of school. You feel me? Like I mean, my socks gotta feel right. Like everything. Or I ain't gonna perform my best. I feel like. You know what I'm saying? It's like, for real. Something about streets. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, for real. Streets don't care about nothing. He don't care about this interview. He don't care about this tour. <laughs> he don't care about nothing. That's something the whole world gonna know about streets. <laughs> he don't care about nothing. Uh, but I, I, I don't care about nothing but family, yeah. money, you know, stuff like that. But he ain't like, I don't care about nothing. <laughs> Man can't really real me or none of that. Like, cause I don't, I don't care about that. Like, but my family, my money, you, you best believe I care about that. But just all the other bullshit, nah, I really don't, don't concern me. I done been through too much in life. Yeah. I just like to have fun. But one thing I can tell you about Young Money, that's good about Young Money, we keep each other laughing all day, every day. So like. You don't really got time to have no dull moment or really stress or nothing like that around here. Cause like, gotta say, Mills a comedian and they got a whole bunch of comedians around here and we just <laughs> laugh all day. Everything happened for a reason. And, uh, like, I'm, I'm in H-Town, I stay in H-Town in Miami now and I think it's for the better. So, I mean, I still visit New Orleans. That's gonna always be home. But, uh, I don't know about messing it like that. New Orleans is a bad place, man. He turns around and starts flipping at the lady at the, at the thing. I want my plane here now. I need a plane. You get it here. They didn't check this kid's ID. It's supposedly Frank Sinatra's grands, great grandson, right? That's what I thought he was. I don't know. I don't check it out. You know, I meet so many people. Oh, you got it out here. It's legal. Da -da -da. I tried it. I was like, oh. This is what I've been missing out on. This is why at every single session, we can't start until the producer or the songwriter or the artist got weed. I never understood it, but it's never made any more sense than it does now that I understand. I don't fuck with Bone Thugs. Uh, I, listen, I used to listen to them growing up. I'm saying they ain't bumping to them yet. So them, them the main ones I want to work with. Bone thugs. Everybody else reach So why they was in the back. Now the girl jump in the front. You know what I'm saying? Try to drive up. Yeah, up the driver's seat. Like, yo, like we yeah. like I'm looking at her, but I'm attacked already. So she I'm looking, looking back. at her. She looking back. She like, looking yeah, back. Like, already? like we about to drive up with these yeah. motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? She yeah. looking back like this. I'm like, yo.